There's still a chance that pieces of the Skylab space station will hit the Tidewater area tomorrow. This is Mike Deason reporting from Hampton, where NASA officials here are in direct contact with the Johnson Space Center in Houston. This is Skylab Control. Predicted in, uh, entry point for Skylab now is between 6, 6.02 a.m. Central Daylight Time on July 11th and 5.02 p.m. Central Daylight Time on the 11th. And NASA spokesman Maurice Parker says Tidewater is still in the path. The Tidewater area is within that boundary at this moment. But as they refine their estimates, uh, I don't think Tidewater will wind up within that uh, critical path. However, late this afternoon, Skylab Central had not removed Tidewater from a possible Skylab crash site. The primary orbit from which NASA hopes the space station will fall would put it safely in either the Pacific or Indian Ocean. However, if Skylab falls on its next orbit, it could crash anywhere between Tidewater and Washington, which could cause some pieces to hit here, and precautions are being taken. Tidewater Civil Defense Director Herb Simpson says he may evacuate the area if Tidewater is considered a strong possible crash site within two hours of its re-entry to Earth. But whether Skylab hits or not, NASA is not happy. This is a, an unfortunate incident that uh, is a little embarrassing. Many people thought the idea of Skylab falling on them a big joke. And it's true, most areas of the country are now out of danger. However, Tidewater isn't. And NASA officials admit, although it's not probable, it is possible that pieces of the Skylab space station will fall to Earth in the Tidewater area. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News at NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton.